Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend, Cressida Bonas, has revealed her plans to return to acting less than a year after welcoming her first child, and is already eyeing up a gritty drama. The 34-year-old gave birth to a son, Wilbur James, with her husband Harry Wenworth Stanley last November, and had taken a career break to enjoy her baby bubble. But as Wilbur approaches his first birthday, Cressida has revealed that she's been thinking about returning to work. Speaking exclusively to OK at the Zara Muse exhibition at Qantas Gallery in London on September the 21st, Cressida told us, I absolutely love being a mum, but I also love acting and I'm looking forward to getting back to work soon. Cressida has already appeared in several films and TV series including White House Farm, which was based on the infamous 1985 White House Farm murders. She's also appeared on stage in The Great Gatsby, There's a Monster in the Lake and One Woman Show, An Evening with Lucian Freud. Theatre is my real passion, but if the script was right, I'd definitely consider another gritty drama, she added. According to OK Magazine, unlike Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, his ex, is currently receiving many offers from Hollywood directors. The blonde girl that Harry was infatuated with is still a talented actress, sought after by many bosses, even though she went through a difficult birth. In 2017, Cressida Bonas turned her talents to Hollywood as she stars in a chilling new American horror, The Bye Bye Man. She became a household name as the girlfriend of Prince Harry, but now Cressida Bonas is famous in her own right thanks to her blossoming acting career. And while she used to star as Daisy Buchanan in the stage production of The Great Gatsby, her acting skills make a chilling impression in Hollywood. In contrast, Meghan Markle is a buried name in the film industry, but she's famous for marrying a British prince. The two different paths of two women appearing in Harry's life have made them achieve different results. An ambitious person is now living a happy life with her true love, with a career that continues to flourish. The other is struggling to find opportunities to come back to Hollywood after failing miserably at playing a lazy duchess. Everything has its price. Excessive ambition becomes greed. Megan is currently blacklisted by Hollywood packing agents, even though a talent agency, WME, is trying to rebrand her. Megan's just so very ordinary, it explains why her acting career never went anywhere. Not a lick of it girl magic about her, and no real talent. She's completely incapable of imitating real human emotions. She can't even pretend to be empathic. Patrick J. Adams, the guy who plays Mike, is a really good actor, so he brings out Megan's inability to act even more. Megan's eyes are creepily empty, which is a cardinal sin in acting. For example, look at her eyes after her character's crush, Mike, asks her to be his girlfriend. There's absolutely no joy, no emotion whatsoever. A royal expert said that Megan's lucky she met Harry. She made one appearance on the big screen, it was Horrible Bosses and Megan was the FedEx girl. Other than a few Hallmark movies, an episode of the new 90210, where she's entertaining a guy, she's under the dash of his vehicle and a smutty barbecue commercial, she's never had success. She really snowed the royal family and they were so afraid of being accused of being discriminatory, they didn't dig into her past as they absolutely should have done. I can't believe this marriage was permitted to take place and she acquired that title under false pretenses. What a mess. 